Oh, my lens is kind of dirty. Hold on. Daddy, I got rocks. You got rocks, buddy? Yeah. Cool. Well, I got an art lens. Because I need to get this uh, old garden over there. Okay, you go garden over there. I'm going to talk to the camera and uh, talk about the lens. Is that okay? So I'm out here in England traveling and I was fortunate enough for Sigma to send me their 35 millimeter art lens for um, full frame Sony cameras and I gotta say, I absolutely love this lens. What makes an art lens an art lens is the actual characteristic of the lens itself, um, not only in build quality, but the images that it produces. Now, while Canon has their L series lines and Sony has their G Master lenses, Sigma art lenses are just on a different playing field altogether. I was actually speaking with a Sigma rep at, at NAB this year, and uh, we were just talking about art and photography and filmmaking, and, uh, and, and I told them, what I loved about using Sigma art lenses when I used to shoot with Canon is that there's a certain characteristic that, that it produces when you're taking the shot. Like, you actually capture the essence of a photo, uh, and I used to shoot a lot of weddings uh, back in the day. Shooting weddings with that really captured the essence of, of, of how the bride and the groom felt, and, uh, and just the overall uh, atmosphere of the wedding day. Even with portraits, something about uh, an art lens just captures the essence of the person, the character of the person in that image. And I don't know what it is, I don't know what voodoo science uh, they integrated into these lenses, but it's just magic. Don't get me wrong, Canon L-Series lenses are great, well, at least most of them, and Sony G Master lenses are awesome as well, but there's something different about Sigma art lenses that just take the image quality up a whole nother level. So I'm a big advocate of using native lens with their native camera bodies. Uh, it just works. I mean, if you're using a Sony camera, it just makes sense to use Sony lenses. If you're using a Canon body, then it, it makes sense to use Canon lenses, mainly because of autofocus and, and the interaction between the lens and the camera bodies. Sometimes third-party lenses don't do too well. So not only is this lens just looks absolutely beautiful, but it is built like a tank. The metal finish just looks gorgeous. There's a little bit of plastic, but I think that helps uh, make the lens a little bit lighter. The focus ring is super smooth, just like the EF version. Over here, you have your autofocus and manual focus switch, and the glass on it, it's just, it's pure glass. All right, well, enough of the chit chat. Let's show you some images and some video footage. Okay, so what do I think? I absolutely love this lens and I'm going to get this lens and I think it's perfect for a camera like the Sony a7R 3 mainly because of crop mode. Now, if you don't know what crop mode is, crop mode is a feature that the Sony a7R 3 has and it's a feature that the a7 III has where you can actually zoom in from your full frame image down to an APS-C image. So that means that when I'm shooting full frame, I'm actually capturing a 35 millimeter focal length and if I use crop mode, the camera turns this lens into a 42 millimeter lens. So it's like I have two lenses in one. And the fact that I have a 42 megapixel camera means that I have a 24 megapixel image when using crop mode. And with the sharpness of this lens, oh my gosh. So even though this version of the 35 millimeter art is longer than the Canon version, um, it actually doesn't feel too front heavy when attached to a Sony camera body. The camera that I'm using is a Sony a7R 3 and uh, when attached to the Sigma 35 art, it actually feels perfectly balanced. So anyway, there's that. There's a the Sigma art lens. Uh, I gotta go. But if you're looking for a prime lens, then definitely go with a Sigma art lens, particularly the Sigma 35 art. Woo! Okay, I'm done. Well, if you have any questions about this lens or questions about filmmaking and photography, then let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Woo! Get this lens!